And now, Sports Live. Our high school football preview series rolls on today with the Blackfoot Broncos. They were inches away from a state championship game appearance last season, and this year they try to get the job done. Only a two-point conversion kept Blackfoot from a state championship game appearance last season. So this year, the Broncos carry some extra motivation to win a state title. There's a lot of fuel for our fire. Uh, we, we had several games that were um, just a point away, and all those opportunities are chances to learn and grow and get better. We've been talking a lot about plus one. Just uh, every little detail is what matters in a football game. Plus one kind of falls in, in line with a lot of things. What, what can each of us do to, to close that gap? Um, what can we do collectively as a team to close that gap? And then ultimately, if we work one step at a time, uh, we can uh, change those scores and tilt the table in our direction. Blackfoot also returns multiple players from last year's playoff run, including first-team All-State receiver Javante King, as well as Austin Ramirez and Deegan Hale. Everyone knows about Javante King. Um, Austin Ramirez is just a super tough, gritty football player, a great leader. Um, Deegan Hale uh, is a returning all-state all uh, caliber player. We just have a, a wealth of experience uh, at several positions, so we're really excited about our seniors. With experienced senior talent, Blackfoot will have to go through perhaps the toughest conference in 4A football, which also adds Idaho Falls this year. We really believe that uh, southeastern Idaho football, the high country conference, is the best football in 4A, and uh, you know it, it just um, shar sharpens the sword, if you if you will, if you to use a cliche. There's not a single non-conference, or excuse me, not a single conference team that is is going to be a pushover game. The Broncos begin their season out of West next Friday at Emmett. The preview series continues tomorrow with the Idaho Falls Tigers.